Hey everyone, welcome back to my Mexican kitchen here in Switzerland. Uh, the recipe for today is one of these life-saving recipes that let's say you guys were out doing errands or shopping or went to the movies or I don't know, but you weren't home or even at home and you were doing stuff, I don't know, cleaning. The point is you don't plan your meal ahead and it it's time for lunch or time for dinner and you're like, whoops, what do I cook? And the closer it gets time to eat, the more frustrated one can get because you really didn't keep in mind that you had to cook. This recipe is done in maximum 30 minutes. It's super easy, super, super, super easy and really yummy. It has so much flavor in it. It's called Primavera Chicken. It's from the blog Delish, which I love. They have a lot of very nice recipes which help you plan, uh, plan quick meals with a lot of flavor. I'm a big fan of theirs. And um, I want to share the recipe with you because it is really good and it really is a lifesaver when you have a little bit of time and want to eat healthy and home cooked. So let's get cooking. The ingredients you need to make your Primavera stuffed chicken breasts are four boneless chicken breasts, they have to be also skinless, four slices of bacon, one zucchini, four to six sun-dried tomatoes, one yellow bell pepper, one red bell pepper, about half an onion, a medium or large onion, uh, dried herbs, you can use oregano, basil, rosemary, sage, or you can buy one of these Italian mixed ones. So you can use herbs that you like. A bit of olive oil, salt and pepper also to your liking. Um, shredded mozzarella, or also you can get creative and put a cheese that you like. And um, some fresh parsley. Okay, so I hope I don't confuse you guys because honestly this recipe is super easy. I'm going to try my best to explain it to the best I can. What you're going to do basically is your chicken breasts, you cut slits into them, about four or five. It depends on how big the chicken breast is. And in those slits, you're gonna fill them up with the veggies that I suggested. All the ingredients I'm giving you, they're all suggestions. The, the point in this recipe is to give you an idea of something super yummy and super quick that you can do. Maybe you don't like bell pepper, so you can put tomatoes and mushrooms or whatever you guys like. Anything you think will taste nice will work. It's just a suggestion. So I, I thought I would give you an idea with these. So basically, you cut your veggies into pieces that will fit in those slits. So it has to be small pieces. I'm going to be cutting like the bell peppers, the red and the yellow, the zucchini, the onion, the sun-dried tomatoes, and the bacon, because bacon makes everything taste better, of course. That's my son's theory. <laughs> and for those of you guys who don't know what sun-dried tomatoes are, many people don't, um, that you can find them in your grocery store. They're usually in jars and they're tomatoes which are dried in the sun obviously and they have them in olive oil and they put herbs and capers and stuff to give it this really yummy intense taste which is really really good. Again not everyone likes it so if you don't like it you don't have to put it. Once you have all your veggies and your things cut up you start stuffing all those cuts you did in the chicken. You can alternate however you want. You can Put several of the veggies in each slit or you can just put one type and one type and one type. Um, well, again, that's basically to your liking. Once you're done filling your chicken breasts, what you're going to do is you're going to drizzle with olive oil on the top and you're going to put salt and pepper to your liking. You're going to put your herbs, either the Italian um, herb mix or whichever dried herbs you like. And uh, my husband likes spiciness, so I'm just going to put a bit of powdered chipotle in there and to finish it off shredded mozzarella or whatever kind of cheese you guys like. Once you're done doing that you're going to put them in your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 Celsius for about 25 minutes or until your chicken is no longer pink. You really want that to be cooked. No, no food poisoning there so you have to make sure your chicken is not pink. Once we're done with that we'll continue with the last final step which is to make it look even more pretty. Okay, so I am done cooking. As you can see, it's not just the chicken breast I'm showing here. I have rice and hibiscus water or agua de jamaica, which I also managed to make in the 30 minutes that I promised you guys for the chicken. So you have a full entire meal in 30 minutes. How cool is that? You can't make such a fancy meal in 30 minutes, but actually you can, and here's the proof. It looks really nice, the presentation. All I did after was chop up the parsley, sprinkled it on the top for our garnish so it looks nicer, it makes it pop out a bit more because once the cheese melts, you can't really see all the colors of the veggies you put in the slits. So like this, you add a bit of color. Um, 
from all the vegetables I suggested, the bell pepper, the, the both bell peppers and the zucchini, I only used about half and probably even less. The thing is, it depends on the size of your chicken breasts. So um, you don't want to overstuff them, otherwise you risk them breaking. The meat is quite fragile. So you put in as much as you can fit with the fillings I suggested. And whatever you have left over, you can do what I did. I made um, a white rice, which I've already shared the recipe before. I'll have the link so you guys can um, follow up. I just chopped up the leftover veggies I had already cut up considering to put inside the chicken. I, put, I cut them like in little cubes. And I added those to my basic white rice recipe, which I shared with you guys before. And like that you have a more like veggie infused rice, which is really nice. And I also made the Jamaica water, which there's also the video, you guys can see it. All this in the 30 minutes, so you guys can enjoy a really good meal. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you guys next time.